Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall and today we are going to learn about measurement. Our goal is by the end of our lesson you can say, I'm learning to measure and compare the length of two objects using various non-standard units. Let's get started. For today's lesson you will need two items that you can measure, a water bottle, an action figure, a book, a teddy bear, a remote, anything that's close by. You will also need something you can measure with, maybe some Legos or pennies, anything that you can put side by side to see how long something is. We'll wait for you as you gather these materials. Be sure to put any of the items away that you used for today's lesson when we are done learning. Today you will have an opportunity to practice your portrait of a graduate attributes as we are discovering measurement together. You can show your math thinking by making connections with what you read or hear throughout our lesson. You can ask questions to help solve the problem. Have you ever wondered, how do I measure? At my house, sometimes we measure the window to buy blinds or if we're going to move furniture, before we move it, we measure how big the furniture is and then see if it fits. Today we're going to explore measuring, but with smaller things. Let's warm up our brains with the same but different. How are these two images the same but different? You can use these two sentence frames to help as you're thinking. They are the same because huh? they are different because Let's talk about how they are the same first. They are the same because they are both pencils. They are the same because they both have paper clips underneath. They are the same because the pencils look like they are the same length. They are different because they have different sizes of paper clips under the pencil. A is different because it has more paper clips than B. A is different because it has smaller paper clips. A has five smaller paper clips. B is different because it has fewer paper clips than A. B is different because it has larger paper clips. B has three large paper clips. We can use the words taller and shorter to describe height. I wonder what we can measure. I found an Iron Man at my house and I found a red marker. I wonder which is taller. I wonder which is shorter. Which one is taller? Which one is shorter? Here are the two items side by side. Let's measure. I have some clementines at my house, so I thought I would use those. They are both three clementines tall. I put the clementines side by side so that they could touch in order to have an accurate measure. I'm going to try to find something smaller to help us measure. How tall is the marker? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The marker is nine pennies tall. The pennies are touching. How tall is Iron Man? I put the pencil so you could see where his head and where his where his feet are because it's hard to tell because his feet kind of like angle out. 
So I put the pennies beside it. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Iron Man is nine pennies tall. As I mentioned before, how I put the pencil at the beginning, at the end, that helps so you can line up what you're measuring. Remember, you want to make sure your pennies are touching. Which is taller? When I go to the doctors, I stand against the wall so they can measure me. Iron Man goes over the line. Iron Man is taller. Now let's think about which is shorter. The marker is under the line. The marker is shorter. We explored taller and shorter. Here are some more vocabulary words we can use to measure length. Sometimes we use the words longer and shorter. The yellow rope is longer the red rope is shorter. The line of beans at the top is longer than the line of beans at the bottom. The beans at the bottom are shorter. This is my daughter, Ella. Ella is six years old. I wonder how long her arm is. First, we traced her arm on the dry erase board. Then we used our tiles to measure her arm because we were still trying to figure out how long is Ella's arm. Let's count by twos. I'm going to count the blue ones. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. Ella's arm measures 18 tiles in length. If we were at school, we could go down to the principal's office and ask, Principal, how long is your arm? We're at home right now, so at my house, I have a six-year-old and I have a police officer. I'm going to ask if we can measure his arm. This is Captain Wall. How long is his arm? Ella traced his arm so that we could measure. We had to turn the dry erase board because his arm wouldn't fit. How long is Captain Wall's arm? His arm looks really long, so I'm going to count the green one. 10, 20, 30, 32, 33. Captain Wall's arm measures 33 tiles in length. What do you notice? Ella's arm is shorter than Captain Wall's because it is only 18 tiles. Captain Wall's arm is longer than Ella because it is 33 tiles. 33 is more than 18. In today's lesson, we went over ways that we were learning to measure and compare the length of two objects using various non-standard units. Let's reflect. Did you listen and make connections to what you read or heard? Did you ask yourself questions to help solve the problem? Now let's complete these sentences. You can write them or tell someone in the room, I learned blank. I wonder blank. You are always welcome to share your learning with someone at your house or your teacher. Now it's your turn. Can you find something in your house today that is longer than nine pennies?
Can you find something in your house today that is shorter than nine pennies? Can you find something in your house today that is longer than your arm? Can you find something in your house that is shorter than your arm? Thank you for joining me today, first graders, in our episode of Math Matters. Today, we talked about measurement. Try to continue to measure at home. I am Mrs. Wall. I hope you have a mathematical day and keep on counting. See you soon.